And on Sports Central, we'll be going over our next schedule preview this offseason, and it will be over the Cal Golden Bears. And this is a team that went 8-5 in the 2019 season, and it overall is a great season for Cal. They actually were ranked for a good chunk of it, so certainly for Cal, it was a uh, much better season than normal. But how will they do in 2020 is what we're going over here today. We're we'll be going over a few players that this team will be losing, who they're going to be returning, and also going over their schedule for the first time this offseason. Starting off the games that California has had since November, we start off on November 9th when they played Washington State. That was a home game. They had the win there, 33-20. Good win there. However, the next week against USC, that was certainly a very forgettable game. They lost to USC there, 17-41. So that was a pretty terrible loss. Uh, but they were able to bounce back the next week at Stanford. Got the win there by 4, 24-20. Then they finished out the regular season with a win at UCLA, 28-18. So overall, to finish off the regular season, not all that bad. Uh, they had a really good win in their bowl game against Illinois too, 35 to 20. And considering Illinois was a very improved team last season, that was a great win to finish off the year for California. Between September and October, this team was four and four. Then between November and the rest of the season, they were four and one. So they certainly improved over the season. Uh, even though I mean their November was much much easier than the rest of their schedule. Of course, they had to play many tough opponents between September and October. But yeah, they were able to play Stanford, UCLA, Washington State, three. Uh, teams that certainly were more on the weaker side of the Pac-12 last season. So, yeah, for California, good season overall once again. Between November and the rest of the season, they were 4-1. and one. Moving on to your returning production for Cal, they returned their starting quarterback in Chase Garbers. And he was an okay quarterback. He had a really good touchdown-interception ratio as he had 14 touchdowns with three interceptions. As far as the yardage goes, he's pretty much right around the average mark. He had just over 1,700 yards as well as 223 rushing yards with three touchdowns in the rushing side. So he was a bit of a rushing quarterback, uh, but overall for Chase Garbers, if he could put up some more yards next season, I'm sure uh, he would be able to do that. I mean, considering he's, his touchdown and interception ratio of 14 to three, I think he definitely could be a really good quarterback, one of the better ones in the Pac-12 for that matter. They returned their top running back in Chris Brown, big player there. He had over a thousand yards with 12 touchdowns last season. So they returned two of their bigger playmakers on this team going into 2020. They returned their second running back, Marcel Dancy, which he was another really good running back. He had just over 400 yards last season. They also returned their top wide receiver, Nico Remico. Or, sorry if I pronounced that wrong, but he had just over 520 yards with three touchdowns. And so, I mean, yeah, the top receiver really didn't have a whole lot of yardage. But, yeah, they're still, I mean, they're returning their third one as well, and Makai Polk, so that's going to be good. As he had just right around 300 yards. They do lose their second receiver in Jordan Duncan, though. Uh, that will be a bit of a loss, but overall he didn't have a major impact on this team as he had just right around 350 yards last season. As far as the offensive line goes, they lose one on there, one starter, uh, and then on the defense they lose five starters, two defensive linemen, two linebackers, and then one in the secondary. So overall for California, they've got an average amount of losses. I mean, yeah, you'll see two or three losses on most offenses and defenses. And yeah, for California, they're a little bit heavy on the defensive side, losing-wise. Uh, so certainly for California, I think this offense is going to be great. I mean, once again, losing basically the only loss on this team is their second receiver and one offensive lineman. That's just about it. So for Cal, this offense has a ton of potential going into next season. As far as the defense goes, I'm a little bit uncertain there. Of course, once again, when you lose five on the defense, plus you didn't have all that great of a defense last season. I think for Cal, that will be an area where it may be a bit of a struggle. I mean, if this defense plays well, I certainly think this team is going to be able to make it back to eight or nine wins. I mean, yeah, this offense is looking great right now. I'm pretty confident in this offense, but once again, the defense is just not as much right now. Will Kelly improve in 2020? That's a tough question right now. I think they're going to hang right around where they were last season. I don't expect anything crazy. I'm not going to say that they win the division or anything, but I do expect Kelly to still be a decent team. I think they make it to a bowl game pretty easily. I don't expect this team to be a flop by any means, but yeah, it's for Kel. Once again, it looks to be a great season in 2020. I don't expect anything crazy to happen. Moving on to your 2020 schedule, you start off the season when you got UNLV on the road, and then the first, fo first home game comes against TCU on September 5th. Then you got Cal Poly on the 12th, and then you got Utah to finish off September at home. So overall, yeah, your September isn't all that bad. Of course, TCU kind of is a toss-up team in the Big 12 next season. I don't expect them to be crazy good, so I think Cal definitely could win that one. That Utah game may be a bit of a tough one there. And looking in October, you got two road games to start it off. You got Washington State, then USC, and then you got Oregon, Oregon State, and Washington to finish it off. So, yeah, that late part of October is going to be brutal, I think, for California. I mean, I'm expecting big things out of Oregon and Washington. I think Oregon State as well could be a really good team next season. I think they've got full potential too. And you also got to add in USC. You can't forget about them on the road. So, yeah, that last part of October is going to be tough for Cal. you got to win 
a few of those games if you're going to make it to a bowl game. As far as November goes, you got three games. You got Arizona State, Stanford, and then UCLA. So overall, I mean, once you get past Arizona State, I mean, Stanford and UCLA certainly should be uh, two easier wins for California next season. Uh, but nonetheless, here's what I'm expecting. I'll give you four guaranteed wins for Cal. I'll see you beat UNLV, Cal Poly, Stanford, and UCLA. Um, I consider putting TCU in there as well, but I think TCU at this point is a team that I'm not gonna, um, I'm not gonna down too much right now. But otherwise, yeah, your record estimation six and six to eight and four. I expect Cal to make a bowl game. I don't, I don't expect them to miss it, but at the same time, I don't expect Cal to make a uh, Pac-12 championship run. Uh, but yeah, once again, I don't expect them to be terrible at all. I mean, if you could win a couple of big games in October, I mean, you could definitely see this team make it up to that higher end, eight or nine wins. Uh, but yeah, either way, it's still looking like a good season for Cal. But nonetheless, let me know your thoughts in the comments below on Cal. That about wraps up this schedule preview. I'd like to hear your guys' thoughts on this in the comments below. If you disagree with anything or agree with anything, be sure to let me know. I mean, I thank you all for watching. Once again, if you enjoyed the schedule preview, be sure to slap a like on it. Subscribe as well. It really helps out the channel, and I'd really appreciate that. But once again, thank you all for watching. Stay tuned for more from All Sports Central, and I will see you all later.